Welcome to Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Global Banking and Finance Review is a leading brand name in the world of finance and banking. Their awards were created to recognize companies of all sizes that are prominent in particular areas of expertise and excellence within the global financial community. And this time, we're pleased to offer two awards to Ajman Bank in the UAE. With a strategy of targeting the rapidly expanding Sharia financial services market, Ajman Bank provides a wide range of value-driven banking services in the UAE for individual, business and government clients, all in compliance with Sharia principles. Ajman Bank's aim is to seek out the market's best products, people and technology in order to deliver what customers want and how they want it, delivering real value and recreating that human touch which is often lost in modern banking. Headquartered in Ajman, the bank's strongly supported by the Emirates government which owns 25%. The two awards for 2016 are Fastest Growing Islamic Corporate Bank UAE and Best Islamic Banking Marketing Campaign for Dwayers. Recently in London to receive the awards at the London Stock Exchange TV studios from Global Banking and Finance's Lynn Quamby, Mariam Al Sharafa, Head of Corporate Communications and Marketing at Ajman Bank. After, she told me more about the bank's success. Welcome to London and congratulations on winning the Global Banking and Finance Review Awards. Thank you so much. We are really honoured to receive those two awards uh, on your behalf. I'd like to talk, if I may, more about the Ajman Bank and indeed some of the services you provide. Uh, and I know that uh, there are many challenges and indeed opportunities uh, across the UAE. Can you tell me what some of those things might be? Uh, for the Islamic banking industry, it started uh, in about 1970s and uh, I'm seeing uh, a lot of growth, uh, steady and a lot of growth in the field of uh, Islamic banking. Uh, the Islamic banking is uh, not much different than the conventional banking, but it's uh, more secure, I would say, and more, uh, more to Sharia compliant uh, products and services. Uh, the struggles are in all uh, banks, conventional or all Islamic, but uh, seeing Islamic bank is uh, very cautious. Uh, I'm seeing uh, a lot of growth uh, in those terms because it's a more cautious bank than all the other banks. And you mentioned growth there. Despite tightening economic conditions worldwide, uh, Ajman Bank continues a significant growth. What do you put down to that success? Uh, in Ajman Bank, uh, we have three main uh, uh, mandates. Uh, we have a very clear objective and uh, we, uh, we really stick to our uh, policies and uh, our Sharia principles that uh, contributes on the uh, success of the bank. Now, obviously, you, like most companies, I'm sure you strive to innovate and you're very successful at doing that. And you mentioned the Sharia principles as well. Uh, what is your, your strategy for continued growth? Uh, in this uh, time of the world, uh, innovation is key. Uh, to differentiate ourselves from all the other uh, banks, we have to uh, cope up with the technology and innovation out there. Uh, people uh, do want the conventional or you know the traditional way, but uh, you know coping up with the innovation is key. Uh, to be able to uh, you know stand out there, we always have to uh, keep up with the technology and innovation and come up with new products and services in terms of innovation. Well, one of the awards you won today actually was in association with a, a rather excellent uh, marketing campaign that you ran. Tell us more about this campaign and its name. Yeah, the name is Jawai's campaign. Uh, the name Jawai is, is based on Arabic name, which is uh, awards. And uh, this campaign was giving back the customers as a loyalty uh, to the customers. We had five winners every month. We had four weekly winners and a grand uh, monthly winner. Uh, this gave uh, a pro uh, an opportunity to customers uh, winning back. And instead of having one winner, we had five winners each month and it was very widely accepted and uh, more and more customers were happy about this product. It sounds fascinating. What was the reaction to it? Uh, 
all customers they were very glad and happy about those those uh, awards because it gave the chance to a wider range of customers to win um, most of the raffle draw programs uh, will give one or two uh, winners uh, a big lump sum what we uh, we wanted to do is reach cust more customers and make them more happy that's why we had five winners every month uh, it was very widely accepted and uh, for this marketing campaign we used a lot of outdoor uh, you know traditional media and also social media the social media campaigns uh, are getting uh, improving that it's uh, it's widely accepted uh, nowadays well you proved that innovation there was uh, very successful how do you ensure that uh, customers get the best possible service uh, we have like uh, a lot of new initiatives uh, to listen to our customers. One of our uh, campaigns or one of our products that we are planning to launch this year is pop-up branches. Uh, those pop-up branches, uh, what we exactly do, we reach out more to the customer by taking a pop-up branch to their workplaces. We would be going through all uh, to, uh, to a lot of companies out there and we'll have a pop-up branch that will be at their workplaces. Uh, this will allow us as a bank and allow the customer to bond, I would say, together. Uh, we will reach the customer to their workplace because it's a bit difficult uh, for the customer to come out the bank, uh, their workplace and reach the bank. Uh, bearing in mind uh, our working hours is, is very similar. So we will be at their workplace, listen to them and come back with more ideas from the customer itself and see if we can tailor make those uh, services or those uh, demands from the customer for to the customer that's what this uh, year we're uh, we're kind of we're planning to do so that's one of the plans for the future it's looking at other planned services and indeed marketing campaigns what do you have in the pipeline uh, this is one of the campaigns uh, that we are having. Uh, the other thing we're also trying to cope up with uh, is the technology. We recently had the third uh, Smart Life exhibition. This is an exhibition done in uh, our Emirate in Ajman. It's to showcase technology. Uh, technology in all its forms, in banking, in health, education, uh, from those uh, you know technologies out there, we would see what suits the customers through the exhibition, and if it's widely uh, wanted, we might apply it in our bank, uh, hopefully. So you're more than just a bank, really. You really do interact with your customers. Definitely. I mean, uh, reaching out to the customer, interacting with the customer, that's key. That's how you would, you know, grab the customer and keep them with you. It's just bonding, I would say. Well, there's lots, lots of exciting things happening in the future. In the meantime, thank you so much uh, for coming to London uh, and talking to us. And congratulations on the award as thank well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.